Well, hi guys. It's day one of the head teardown. Uh, this has been a man. This thing has fought me all day. Um, biggest thing is getting whoops this stub shaft out of the end of the auger. Uh, it fought all the way. And of course the bearing was bad, which made things more difficult. And this stub shaft, getting it out of there, seems like it'd be real easy. Well, it ain't. Uh, maybe when things are brand new, it's real easy. Once it gets about 30 years on it and rust, yeah, not so much. Uh, but I finally got it apart. Uh, I disassembled, took all the fingers out of the auger. All the, the cross shaft is out of it. This bearing is loose now. Um, I've got the end stripped off. Uh, so it can be pulled out of the head. Uh, tomorrow, cousin's going to come up, help me pull the reel off. And I'll take the auger out at the same time. Um, so I can get, oh, basically this head cleaned up. And get it ready for the other auger out of the other head. Which will take me... It'll take me a day to, to get the auger loose and the reel off. Reel's got to come off first and then the auger come out. Um, so day one of this teardown um, is pretty much where I want to be. Uh, you know, stub shafts out. Hydraulic motor is off. The other end's disassembled. The auger is, uh, for lack of a better word, tore down. It's stripped, pretty much, other than this shaft that's in there. So I think I'm doing pretty good. Uh, getting these fingers out was a real trick because pipe wrench won't grab them <laughs> they're hardened so the pipe wrench just kind of slides over them you can't get a good grip on it so you got to go inside with a three-quarter inch wrench to break them loose <laughs> I can tell you how much fun that is but it's ready to come out so bolt on set set bolt I guess you could call it it's a set big set screw uh, there's a set of holes in the top of the auger or the this tube uh, you take that break that set loose and it'll slide so I got to figure out how I'm going to get the hijack in there to raise this corner up and same on the other end so all we got to do is slide it off on the forks of the skid steer good theory anyway but made pretty good progress uh dad was over and bless his heart uh <laughs> when you're trying to get something apart and dad's kind of arguing with you it's like this shaft this is what holds the bearing in there sitting there like this it's made to adjust back and forth with this to hold it in place well dad thought we need to drive this out and I'm like dad you can't drive it out there's no slot down here for it to come out yeah it does it needs to come that way and it's like oh lord help me but like I say the shaft is out stub shafts out uh, I got to get a bearing uh, I'm gonna put all new bearings in it uh, I'm 
argue with him about that. And he said, oh, I think it'll be all right. Just put it in there and go. I was like, no, I'm not putting it in there and then having to tear everything back apart. So we'll put bearings in it. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, it gets... I love Dad to death, but sometimes he gets a... Uh, well, he gets an idea in his head and he just can't let it go. And it's like this bolt here, down here. I got it to turn that far and it don't want to turn no farther. So I don't want to break it. And Dad's like, well, we need to heat that. And I said, Dad, the torch is down. Well, why is the torch down? I said, because we need a new regulator and I haven't had a chance to go get one yet. Well, let's go do it. I said, Dad, it's four o'clock. It'll be closed by the time we get there. You know. <laughs> uh, I can't get mad. It's just. I got to figure out how to work with him. You know what I mean? But any rate, guys. Uh, day one is done. It's about 6 o'clock. I'm tired. I'm hot. And it's time to call it a day. Uh, yeah, this getting the reel off should be fairly easy with a skid steer with the forks on it uh, the auger this end will come peel out you know this way and then you just pull that stub shaft through and it's out of there oh there's there's nothing holding it so it'll come out uh, it just takes two people to do it, and I can't do it by myself. So, I guess some help from my cousin. And like I say, well, there's that bolt. You can see it. That's all you got to take loose, and that reel will come off. And I get into stripping the other one down. Of course, I'm going to have to go get me a couple of cans of ether. I already see lots of wasps flying, so we'll have to take care of them. But at any rate, guys, if you like, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, whew, day one's done. We'll see what day two brings us. We'll see you next time, guys.